Hey everyone, it's Cassie from Elementor. If you have an online store or are considering opening one, you probably know WooCommerce, a store building system on WordPress. WooCommerce is the most widely used platform for building online stores. It's a free plugin, the basic version, and has hundreds of extensions. Now the basic product page of WooCommerce looks like this. You can see the product image, product name and short description, reviews, price, a button to add items to the shopping cart, related products, etc. The page gets its design from the template you're using, and the option to change the design is limited. In this video, you'll learn how to create a product page using Elementor. Before you start, you'll need to make sure you have the most updated WooCommerce installed on your site and that you've added several products. In the WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor, My Templates, and add a new template. Select Single Product and click Create Template. Here in the Template Library, you can choose from several different styles for a single product page. Let's have a look at one of them. Back to the library, close the Template window to create a product page step by step. In the Editing panel, we see the special widgets for the product, such as product title, product image, ratings, tabs, and more. Let's start by creating a new section with two columns. Add a product title widget, and above it, add breadcrumbs. That shows the path to the specific product. Now drag an image product into the left column, and add some padding to both columns to keep them slightly apart. Below the title, drag in Product Rating. Add a short description widget. And give it some space on the top. Let's continue with the product price. We can format it. Replace the default font with a thicker weight and change the color to black. Add a minus margin. OK, now we can add an Add to Cart widget. Note that it comes with quantity, which is the amount of products you add to a shopping cart. Change the font, size, and color. Before we move on, just a quick reminder. Subscribe and like our YouTube channel to see more tutorials like this, and continue to take your skills to the next level. Below the Add to Cart button, add Product Meta. This is data about the product, the product category and its serial number, the SKU. Now back to editing the image. Add a bit of border radius and distance between the main image and the product's photo gallery. Let's add a new section of two columns. On the left, we'll insert Product Data tabs including description, additional information, and reviews. And on the right, add a product related. To keep the columns evenly spaced, we'll use copy-paste style to copy the formatting values. Add a new section, this time with a gradient color. Drag an upsales widget into the section. And add padding inside the section. Bam! You're done designing the page. Of course, you can use other widgets to promote your product, like share buttons or call to actions, and more. We can also change the display of the single and display it with another one of the products we have. Go to the eye icon below and click Settings. Under Preview Settings, choose another page for this example, and Apply, and Review. And now you see the product that you chose. Click on Publish to publish the archive and add conditions. Now, by default, the single will affect all product pages on the site. Or you can select a specific category of products. Click on Publish, and your single product is live. 
To complete the task, design a catalog page of products that will affect all the products on the site or by category. So first, go back to Elementor, My Templates, go to Product Archive, and add an archive. Click on Create Template, taking you to the Template Library window. Select an existing template or create one. Notice that in the main panel, we have two archive products, Archive and Archive Product. First, we add a title, and of course you can design it, align it to the middle or to the sides, change the color, and all the other options you already know in Elementor. Now let's drag in an archive product. In order for us to adapt it to the design we already did on the product page, go back to the product page we designed and right-click Copy. And go back to the archive product and right-click Paste Style. Here you can easily get the same design. Okay, just a few small changes. Set the number of columns to four. Under Source, choose Latest Products. And then under Product Category, choose Rings. This way, only the ring category will appear. You can also slide on Pagination. This is really helpful when you have many products, advanced filtration, and the numbering of the products on each page. In the Style tab, you can design the distance between the columns and the rows, adjust the colors, fonts, and more. Align everything to the middle and click Publish. Add conditions and include all the archive pages we have on the site. Change it to a specific category display and again click Publish. And now our archive page is ready. You can see that only products from the Rings category are displayed on the page. Click on one of the products and go to the design of the product page. There you go! Now you've finished designing your custom WooCommerce template. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel.